Hello everybody, welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc V! I am Gong, up against this guy who they like to call Kit. Now, what you might not know about me, Gong, I used to run a Nightmare Penguin deck back in the day, before, of course, the penguins were overtaken by the Polar Bears. That was the, the new format, the Polar Bear uh, gimmick. Was the, the hot new craze in early 2003. You couldn't go to a locals without seeing every little... Uh, elementary school kid playing a polar bear deck. Me, Gong, I, Gong Strong. <laughs> I'm still trying to run the old shit. Okay, I do not see any pendulums. Also, it's been about three weeks since I played this pendulum shit, so I don't remember how to even do it. If you have no spell or trap cards in your graveyard, you can special summon this card from your hand. After this card is special summoned this way, you cannot special summon monsters for the rest of the turn, except Super Heavy Samurai Monsters. If this card is tributed for the tribute summon of a Super Heavy Samurai Monster and sent to the graveyard, and you have no spell or trap cards in your graveyard, you can special summon this card from the graveyard. And that's a Super Heavy Samurai right there, but he's 8 stars, 3500 defense. When this card is normal or special summoned, you can change its battle position. Monsters you control can attack while in face-up defense position. Cool. Kind of like the total defense Shogun from back in the day. Maybe that's what he's based off of. You can control, uh, can attack while face-up. If they do, oh, apply their defense for damage. That's really good. I should summon this guy. If your opponent controls two or more monsters and you control no monsters, you can special summon this card from your hand. Okay, lots of special summoning here. When this card is normal summoned or special summoned, you can change its battle position. Cannot be destroyed by battle. Cool. Cool. Okay, let's see what we got chilling in here. Chilling out in the crew with the schoolyard. Um, it's just this guy. One machine type tuner and a super heavy samurai monster. This card can attack while in face up defense position and you apply the defense. Once per turn during either player's turn, if you have no spell or trap cards in your grave, maybe this deck doesn't have any spell or traps. I wouldn't be surprised. You can target one spell or oh, in your opponent's graveyard. Set it to your side of the field, but banish it when it leaves. Okay. Okay. So it looks like there's no way to summon this guy right now. But I could throw down the giant rat, which guarantees I have another monster on the field, then I special summon him next turn, and then I can normal summon him and attack for 3,500. That's what I think I'm gonna do. I think that's what I'm gonna do. End my turn. Because I don't want to tribute all of these super heavy samurais, because they can attack while in defense mode, thanks to this guy, evidently, if I read that correctly. So go ahead and destroy my giant rat. I'll activate his effect to bring back another one. Wow, yeah, this monster or this deck is nothing but monsters, huh? That's a shit ton. I'm not gonna read all these. I'm sure there's a better one, but I'm just gonna pick giant rat for now. Well, what's the one that I could special summon if it's in my graveyard? If I have no shit, it's the uh, the two star guy, right? Do I have any more of him? Ah, oh, I can't read the full effect right now, can I? Shift? Nope. Okay. Oh! Oh! Oh, I, th I think this is correct. But it's... Oh, man. He's a tuner. That's cool. F Wait, can I pick it? It won't even let me pick a card now, because I already picked Giant Rat. Okay, let's, let's do this one. I think it can be special summoned from my graveyard. We'll give it a shot. We'll, we'll give it a try. Alright. You can target one super heavy samurai monster you control. Equip this monster from your hand. Okay. If it attacks, it defends piercing damage. If this card is sent from there, you can uh, to your hand. Okay. And let's special summon this bad boy. To have two of these trumpeters. What are they voting for Donald Trump here, folks? We got some MAGA friends on the field. And then we can summon this guy. The super heavy samurai Big Benkai. Yes. Tribute both of these little trumpeters. You know, the trumpeters make the sacrifice so that the big heavy Trump Samurai can come out and play. I'll activate his effect to throw him in defense mode. Uh, yes. And we'll use the graveyard effects to bring them back. Yes! Brilliant! Brilliant strategy on my part. Um, I think they want to attack from defense mode, right? I think that's the, the gimmick. So we'll throw them both in defense mode just to see what's going on. And you throw yourself in defense mode too. And now I can summon the big one. The 10 star monster man. Well, let's take a look. Because this guy makes it so everybody can do it, right? Uh, yeah, all super heavy samurai monsters can attack while in defense. 
Does this one give the power to everybody or just himself? Uh, do, do this card can attack face up in defense position. If it does, apply its defense for damage calculation once per turn during either player's turn. If you have no spellers, you can target. Okay. So he doesn't give the power to everybody else. And I don't have any spells or traps to steal right now. So I would do more damage just having the ones out on the field that I have already. Ooh, and I could target... I, or I could equip this to somebody, but I'll save that for a rainy day. Because I have a feeling he's going to go on the defensive, so then when I summon the stronger one and I equip him, then I'll do more piercing damage. So let's go into the battle phase and start wrecking some shit. Fuck him up. And then fuck him up for another 1,200. Yeah, okay. I kind of like this. I think that this Super Heavy Samurai gimmick is kind of cool. I could see myself using this. Uh, let's see what Kit Blade has to say about it, though. Maybe he has a better gimmick, because so far we've only seen one of his cards. Ooh, he's not going in defense. I don't like the sound of that, because he wants to destroy my tuner. Okay, that makes sense. And that's fine. He destroyed my tuner. When this card is normal summoned or special summoned, you can change its battle position. It cannot be just... Okay, so we have two of that guy. Um, let's see, equip this from your, okay, if it attacks, it, okay, piercing damage, and then if it's sent from the field of the graveyard, you can add one monster from your deck to your hand, okay, so that's, yeah, um, I guess I'll summon this guy, and just go out for a big old punch attack, so summon you, throw him in defense mode, yes, activate the effect, and now, you see, if I want to summon this guy, I better do it now before he destroys the other tuner, but I think Super Heavy Samurai Big Ben Key is better because he allows my uh, blue brawler to attack. So I think I like him better than the Synchro. Attack. What I like about this is even if they used Mirror Force, it wouldn't matter. Mirror Force would not stop me because I'm in defense mode. Okay, let's attack again. You can keep bringing him out. We'll keep dishing him down. Got him's emergency call. Okay. Well... Well, whatever. Yeah, attack. And I'll attack the weaker one, do more damage. Unfortunately, this seems to be uh, your last stand, buddy. And he's still... Well, I guess I could steal his... Uh, if I wanted to synchro someone, I could steal his stupid trap. But that's useless to me. And I really, I would rather have this guy than the other one, so I'm not going to even synchro. I don't see the advantage, because this guy can attack thanks to this guy. Unless I misread something. Um, I could equip this to you, so then when they destroy you, I get to draw an extra monster. I don't know which one I would want, but I'll do that real quick. I'll throw that on you. So they're going to destroy you, but it's all Gucci and the Nucci. Okay, in my turn. Kid Blade, you're running really low on points. And I think the AI is so stupid it doesn't realize that in defense mode I can still kill you. <laughs> yes, activate the effect. We will pull out. God, there's so many, but I'm about to win. And I, I can't read their effects because I'm in this stupid zone. So that sucks. Uh, another big, okay. Do we have uh, any that can be special summoned? Hard to tell. <laughs> These are all equipped from the hands, but I don't know what they do. Uh, we'll see what this guy does. This guy looks kind of cool. Actually, no, no, let's, let's do the anal beads. Samurai soul beads. Let's see what the hell that does. I think I win either way. So it doesn't really matter how hard you try. Keep that in mind to design this rhyme. Oh, now he goes in defense mode. Oh, now he realizes the trouble he's in. Okay, let's see what kind of equip we can do here. Equip this monster from your hand or your side of the field. Uh, okay. Each... Turn the first time the monster equipped with this card it would be destroyed by card effect. It is not destroyed. When the defense position monster is destroyed by battle and sent to your graveyard, you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard. Special summon. Okay, cool. So we'll activate that and put it on our big guy to protect him from any shenanigans that may be coming. When this card is normal summoned, you can change its battle position. If a super heavy samurai monster you control battles an opponent's monster, after, after damage calculation, the opponent's monster's attack and defense becomes zero. Um, so that's if I attack something and lose on purpose. So I guess, hypothetically, I could summon him and attack this and hope that it has high defense and then I win. So let's give that a shot. And if it doesn't work, then whatever. I think we're pretty close to winning anyway. I'll summon the super heavy samurai swordsman. And, uh, yeah, we'll activate the effect to put him in defense mode. 
Probably would have been better to leave him in attack mode, though, because it's lower, so it's a higher chance that it would uh, not kill that. But I don't, I don't remember if the effect only worked if he was in defense mode. I guess it doesn't really matter. Let's attack. Okay, well, that didn't pay off. <laughs> That's fine. I probably did it wrong, but whatever. Uh, attack you to do 1,700 points. Kaboom. Finish off his other monster. He'll probably special summon some shit. No, he didn't. Okay. Your move, Kit Blade. I probably could have finished you off that turn, but I just was not smart enough. But maybe I'll pull off a win without taking any damage. That's even more impressive, I say. More impressive. You can tribute this card, special summon. Okay. Um, doesn't matter. None of this matters. I win. I think I win. We will attack with you just to be safe. And yeah, you're dead. Get out of here. You're over. Oh, you, what, you won't be destroyed? Cannot be destroyed by battle? Ah, oh, fuck off. Great. Now I need the piercing damage guy back. Fuck you. Get out of here. Oh. Cannot be destroyed by... But you during your standby phase, you take a thousand damage. Okay. You bought yourself one turn, Kit Blade. One turn. But you're done for. It's over. You lose. Send that to the graveyard. Uh, opponent standby phase. Okay, what? Well, you cho- What? <laughs> oh, it's not a choice. He has to take it. He can't just destroy it. Okay. That's silly. Usually with those cards, you can, like, choose to destroy it and not take the damage. What a fucking idiot. Gong, I like your Super Samurai. You're, you're a cool character. I don't- Is this, like, the, the Joey Wheeler, or is this the Tristan Taylor? Or is he not even, uh, a character of anything? I don't know. But he's cool. I like his gimmick. Uh, I- I did use Total Defense Shogun. I think that's what he's called. Back in the day, I think it's, like, what? 1250 attack, 2500 defense, something like that. And I think from defense mode, he could either attack directly or just attack normally, but like his direct attacks would do half the damage of usual. I don't remember exactly, but clearly they uh, they made a whole new gimmick based off of one card from 2003. And I kind of like that. Anyway, come back next time for Yuya versus Declan. <laughs>